I use a lot of different weapons for every mode in Splatoon, but the Splash-O-Matic has to be my favorite. I used it a lot in the first game, and as soon as I unlocked it in the second, I've never been happier. Well, that's not completely true. I'm not exactly perfect at this game. No, come on, please, please, are, are you serious? That? Really? If you're looking for a weapon that shoots quick, covers ground fast, and has pinpoint accuracy, the Splash is the weapon for you. Today I'll run down this weapon's attributes and recommend some gear that you should use with it. Before I start, if you want to suggest any changes I could make to any of my strategies, make sure you discuss them down in the comments below. I'm always interested in seeing what you would do differently. The splash matic not to be confused with the sploosh matic is a high mobility weapon, meaning it's very easy to move around with. It fires one shot every 5 frames for a total of 12 shots per second. This makes it just a little bit slower than the arrow spray, which fires one shot every 4 frames. Without ink saver, that'll give you 125 shots before needing to recover ink, or about 10.4 seconds of continuous firing. So yeah, it's pretty fast. The splash does 28 points of damage per hit, so it'll take 4 direct hits to splat on enemy players. Of course, if you don't get a direct hit, the damage won't be as high, so keep that in mind. The lack of damage of this weapon is one of its downsides, but what it loses in damage, it makes up for it in its speed and accuracy. Speaking of accuracy, there are little to no issues with random shots flying out in all directions. As you can see, firing this weapon in a straight line creates a perfectly straight path of ink. Compared to the arrow spray, there's a big difference. Combat becomes a lot easier when the shots are straight 100% of the time. There are two variations of the splash matic We've got the vanilla splash matic and the neo splash matic I'll start off with the original one. The splash is unlocked at level 25. Oh, I remember when I got to the big 25 and unlocked this thing. It was... Interesting, to say the least. Wait, did I level up? I might have leveled up. Oh, 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 oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh, 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 oh. What? Pretty sure this is cheating. What just happened? And now I'm 20. Um. This version has Toxic Mist as a sub-weapon, and Inkjet as a special. Toxic Mist makes it so players who enter it move slower and get their ink supply drained out. If you have trouble hitting moving targets, it's very useful. It uses about 60% of your ink reserve when used, so you may want to use Ink Saver Sub if you feel like relying on it. The splash matic special is Inkjet and requires 170 points to use. Its base duration is 7.5 seconds, and in that time you can fire like crazy, though in my experience it's better to shoot only when you have a good shot at hitting someone. Remember that if you use Inkjet, players will know exactly where you land after the special timer runs out. So try to use it in a place that's not, you know, out in the open. The Neo splash matic is the version that I use for the most part. This version is unlocked at level 27. Other than the sub and special, there's no difference between the two weapons. The sub for the Neo is Burst Bombs, which are perfect for making a quick pool of ink beneath you just in case you're overwhelmed. They also do a nice amount of damage. 25 at the minimum, 35 is middle ground, and 60 if it's a direct hit. Its ink consumption is 40%, so it's not as bad as Toxic Mist. By doing the math so you don't have to, this means you can throw a Burst Bomb and then shoot 75 more times, or, if you're feeling adventurous, throw two Burst Bombs and then shoot 25 Five more times! Man, isn't math... Well, I mean, I was gonna say fun, but the point is you'll have plenty of ink left after using one. The gear I use all the time has Ink Saver Sub in it, but I don't think it's completely necessary. Although it does help. Suction Bomb Launcher is the special for the Neo. Like the name implies, it launches bombs that can stick to the floor, walls, ceilings, you name it. It lasts for 6 seconds without any sub abilities, and it takes 210 points to activate. Remember, the longer you hold down R, the further the bombs will go. However, that'll bite into the time limit and you won't be able to throw out as many bombs. This special is really good at pushing the enemy back if you're in a tight spot. Or, in my case, it works as an excellent panic button. As for abilities to use with the splash matic I say go with whatever you're most comfortable with. In my case, I like to use Ink Saver Main or Sub with a bit of ink recovery up. For this weapon, I feel like moving around is extremely important, so I like to have as much ink as I can at all times. For example, if I see someone nearby, I can use the splash's mobility to swim over quickly, get in the perfect position to shoot, pop up, and then hit them with four quick shots, and then cover some ground. Then I can swim to another location and immediately cover more ground with the ink that I have saved up. If you really want to be quick, swim speed doesn't hurt either. Just make sure you manage your ink wisely. And if you like to use main power up, that ability boosts the damage of each shot by 25%. However, the max damage that you can do with the splash is 33.3 damage. So by doing the math, wow, I'm just loving math today, four hits would do 133.2 damage. Without main power up, those four hits would add up to 112 damage. So, three hits with main power up would be...
99.9 damage. Inklings and Aquilings only have 100 health, so... Yeah, main power-up isn't really effective unless you use it on the Rainmaker shield, or just other players that are damaged to begin with. And if there is a better use for it, please tell me in the comments below, but for now, I wouldn't really recommend it myself. To wrap up this quick discussion on the splash matic while this weapon lacks in power, it excels in covering ground due to its fast firing rate and accuracy. And it's also perfect for moving around any stage. Its ink consumption is pretty good too, just make sure you don't run out. Before I end this off, I just want to say thanks for the support on the last Tips and Tricks video. It was a complete surprise that it gained so much support as it did, and I'm so happy that I ended up helping a lot of you. If you have any suggestions as to what I should talk about next, please tell me in the comments. Even just thinking about this video was, like, really difficult for me. But yeah, thank you very much. And if you want to see the splash matic in action, I do stream on Twitch quite a lot. That's twitch.tv slash thegoldensmithy. I'll leave a link in the description below. I'll also leave a link to the splash matics wiki page so you can read about it and go more in-depth if you feel like it. Except, I will warn you, it goes really in-depth. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, and have a great day. See ya!